Hi. Trans activists scored an own goal counter-demonstrating against a turf rally in Manchester Sunday, organised by a group Let Women Speak Against Male Violence, but with, I'd imagine, an eye on provoking trans activists who went for it like bees to honey, making them give off the bad optics as they walked eyes wide open into the trap. Now the turfs can claim the moral high ground in this latest round of the identity politics war, as it looks like they were attacked by a group of masked men. All over the world, women's rights, bodily autonomy are under attack by state and religion, from Afghanistan to Nicaragua to the USA. Don't let the squabbling groups in Manchester deviate from this as they try to pop each other's bubbles. There has been no real discussion of gender issues outside these and other isolated, irrelevant, usually university, academic, orientated currents. The rest of the population is only vaguely aware of these issues when mentioned by the right-wing media with its own reactionary agendas. So therefore, there's an utterly distorted version that, that will get to go mainstream. To most people who are vaguely aware of these controversies, it just looks like two groups screaming at each other. Putting on full black block gear for these events is ridiculous, absurd. Such clothing should only be worn when fighting full on against the forces of state repression on the streets. It's not meant to be a fashion statement to be employed in a pantomime. And that's why the, and, and, and why was the anarcho-syndicalist red and black flag the symbol of working-class revolutionary insurrection appropriated by these studenty types, who probably, like the rest of their social economic category, are almost exclusively middle class? Correct me if I'm wrong. Bye.